Hello fellow homeschooling parents, this is Joseph with Homeschooling Daddies and in this episode we're going to be discussing our son's elective for the 2014-2015 school year which happens to be philanthropy and many might think well this is kind of strange um, but it is a new idea and something that we want to instill in our son. I mean he already has like a giving heart and a giving spirit, he loves to help out other people. Um, but we're doing this for a number of reasons, um, one of which happens to be uh, when my son started preschool, I actually went back to school myself, and I'm currently a senior um, at a local university in their human services program, and I should be graduating this next spring of 2015. And then I plan to go on and get my master's in, um, in mental health counseling. But, um, but within this program that I'm in, a lot of the things we do happens to be with helping people, helping all different sorts of populations in different ways and formats. So basically, I want to instill the same concept in my son about giving back to the community. And so within this, this course, this curriculum, what we're planning to do is um, in each of these books, they give ideas and suggestions on how we can give back to our communities. Um, so um, within each book, we're going to take out ideas and suggestions, and then we're going to form a curriculum around it um, to where our son can give back um, to the community, in, um, to a certain population or multiple populations in some way or form. We plan to do it in, in working with like different systems, um, such as we might do one-on-one -on -one with him just doing something on his own and then um, maybe doing a diet with one of his friends or something. But then possibly also getting a group um, system going to where we could work on some larger um, project to help a larger population of, of individuals within our community who needs help. And then if we have time and if it can be arranged somehow, maybe forming some sort of um, project to where we can help on the international level. So, so we're not really quite sure how we're going to work this out or how we're going to make it a weekly thing or to where we'll work on a project all week and then maybe go out on Saturday and do something, have him do something, or work on a project for a whole month and then at the end of the month go out and do something, especially if we're working like with other um, homeschooling parents in the area or with his friends. Um, but um, we'll work around it and tweak it and as we go we're going to be video recording it uh, about all the things that he's going to be doing within this elective um, to help those populations that are in need in our community. But these are the books that we're going to be using that we're going to be drawing information and inspiration from. Um, the first one is Helping Kids Help Organizing success Successful Charitable Projects. This one is the Big Book of Service Projects. And then this one's like a story. It's Live to Give. And this happens to be like my son too. Um, because um, I've always instilled um, working with the homeless and helping the homeless. And so for a couple of years now, we've been like making bag lunches. And we take them to, to the homeless on the streets of Seattle when we have a chance. And even like when we travel, no matter where we go, we always um, take a few hours out of our day and to where we go buy uh, food um, to make bag lunches and we go distribute them to the homeless people on the streets um, wherever we may be. Uh, we did hit a challenge when we were in the Miami area but that's a whole nother story. But um, but yes, so he's already has a heart for this and we also just recently started a small, a small business um, where we make weighted blankets for children with special needs. And he also came up with the concept when we started it. It's like um, where he came to us and it's like, can we make blankets without the weights in them? So basically just the quilted part and give them to the homeless. And we told him that sounds like a brilliant idea. And so we're going to probably do something like that around Christmas time um, to help the homeless here in the Seattle area. But that's like a little story there, and this one is how to be an everyday philanthropist. And it basically talks about how no matter how little you have as an individual or how much you have, you can still give back to the community and, and how you can take everyday things, even your trash, and turn it into money to help um, whoever you want to help. 
And then this one is the Kids Guide to Service Projects. So if you all have any questions, suggestions, ideas, comments, whatever, um, please do leave them in the section below. And also, please don't forget to subscribe and check out the rest of our curriculum that we're going to be doing for the 2014-2015 um, school year. All right, well, thanks for watching, and you all have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.